Greetings from the farm. Back at the farm today, spending a bit of time here, and uh, I've come down to uh, Riverside One to have a look at how the onions are doing. Uh, the onions that we've been featuring in a couple of the videos that we've seen. Um, today is the 5th of October. Happy International Teachers Day to all the teachers. As you know, teachers mean a lot to me, including my dear late mother and all of the people that work for our school companies. So here we are um, having a look at the onions and we're going to just take a quick walk through and just see uh, some of the things. I think you can see some of the, the neck fall that we, that we speak about. And when you see onions falling like that, it means they're almost good to go. So we're very happy to see that. Let me turn the camera around and show you more of what's happening here. Starting as always with the uh, uh, crop post poster that tells us that this crop was uh, transplanted on uh, June 15. And today, as I said, is October 5, so it's a good couple of months and we're seeing some wonderful, wonderful bulbs. Look at that. Proper, proper bulbs. We've reached maturity now, so uh, we're kind of cutting off the water cutting off the uh, nutrients just sort of doing some weeding okay as you can see and uh, here's the bulbs and uh, a lot of the some of the necks have started to fall now I said on the other video that we are looking for for us to start harvesting you'd be looking for about 75% neck fall so we are here P. The onions are doing well. I hope you're able to see this. My videography skills may not be uh, up to scratch. Learning, learning, learning. But I think you can see as I pan around and look through some of the the necks have fallen. The onion starts releasing the the growth inhibitor and starts forming more food goes down to the bulbs. For those of you who farmed onions before, you'll have different comments about how we're doing. Look at the size of this bulb. Let me put my hand here so you can see. Let me take it out of the ground actually. Whoa! Oh, that's a bulb. Papery uh, skin on the side, which is what we want. This is a mature ripe onion that should now be dried um, as you saw from the poster this is capriccio uh, which is a great OPV variety um, we buy from farmers barn and we're very happy with it oh yeah it's taken us quite a few months and a lot of work a lot of effort to come to get to this stage where we shall be harvesting these onions very soon next up we will show you a video of how they look when they're off the ground here's a few more uh, with the necks having fallen and how they look when they're off the ground and they're on the ground sort of um, drying and as you know drying is another process and then curing riverside one uh, where the farm really sort of started our first crop uh, this time last year down here we had cauliflower and uh, cabbage and it was all very different but there's been a lot of development uh, since then and we now fully say that we own it we've got the Chongwe River uh, down here you can't really see it I need to show you the river one day I have to do a proper program on the river late uh, early October now so we're just about having to have the first signs of rains um, so we shall the river will be getting full again look at that a nice beautiful 
bunch of uh, onions. I would say the first harvest of beautiful white onions from down here at Riverside. These are the moments in farming that make you very, very proud. Look at Pethes' smiling face. Or well, not smiling. Okay, now he's smiling. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Pethes. I'm gonna put them in the bag now. This wouldn't be Zambia without a ShopRite bag. Uh, ShopRite, yes, we're coming for you one of these days, soon. Wanna get our ducks in a row, production wise. can see quite a few weeds here uh, and we're bringing the team in to weed out uh, tomorrow I think tomorrow Wednesday look at that beautiful beautiful huge onion bulbs so at this stage we are putting water once a week once a week once a week once a week twice yeah just to see oh, this is the moments in farming you can feel it all the spraying all the fertilizing, the weeding, the care, it's all coming to a good place and we should be coming to be able to take this to market very, very, very soon. Okay, these weeds are embarrassing, but it's okay, it's alright, we're humans, we're not perfect and uh, every day we have to spread the labor around, around the farm. Here's another good look at some of them. A bit more of the neck for I'm now standing in the uh, the red uh, onions here and you can see huge big uh, bulbs this is the Hagritech uh, red creole variety and uh, excellent neck for excellent bulb formation excellent all over the place actually if this was school I would give it day eight out of ten eight out of ten excellent so I'm really focusing on where the bulbs, the necks have fallen, sorry. Let me have a look. And I said. So we're now entering the part where uh, these are the same June ones. And now walking to start where the, the July ones and to see how they're doing. They're a month behind. They're all the brothers and sisters. Are plants male or female? Je ne sais pas. So these ones, as you can see, you remember from last time we talked about it, they are planted very close together. We actually came in and put some more in there. And people who grow onions will tell you that the size of your onion bulb depends on the spacing. The onion will grow as much space as it has available, the bulb. So when you put them very close together again, you get much smaller bulbs big debate as to who wants big bulbs or small bulbs does size matter as they say yes size matters in this case of onions um, some people say they don't want those huge onions that are a problem to to cook so they want a uh, onion that can be cooked in a day so I'm just showing you uh, the results of some of the weeding here that was done here yesterday with vegetable got vegetable farming you're always looking after the crops even as a mature so uh, the team came through and started weeding yesterday and you can see some parts that uh, still need a bit of weeding and you can see some of the evil vicious grass I heard on one video a long time ago that onion is a weak soldier it's not built to withstand the pressure of weeds so we constantly have to keep pushing it so we have bulbing now a lot of bulbing here I think we've had very good uh, soil here and we had these beds we've created we've made them with uh, some organic material inside we've put a lot of the right fertilizers your calcium nitrates ammonium nitrates your top 24s everything has gone reasonably well. we've also been spraying very well the foliars every other week as well as putting in the
the uh, insecticides so we haven't had a big problem with things like the thrips and stuff continuing to walk down these beds yeah it's like someone comes to visit your house and they find lots and lots of mess in the house so these very interesting um, plants they've been here for years and years and years and they always come with the rains so they're found here by the river as I said that's the river uh, down there around there it goes all the way back and you see one of the landmarks of the farm is these musango trees that we find around here and that's why we named the farm Winterthorn as many Zambians will know the Winterthorn is the English name for Musangu or well, Musangu is the Zambian name for Winterthorn which comes first the chicken or the egg all right so still have a few 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 uh, volunteer maize around here <laughs> one minute is food the next minute is uh, thing this Peters has picked a, another couple of the big uh, red bulbs red onion bulbs from the first generation it's nice they are really moving so very happy with uh, what we're seeing here hopefully be heading to market very soon that was an amazing and very 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 pleasing look through at how the onions here on Riverside One are doing we've been giving you a couple of updates uh, over the last couple of months and now uh, this could be one of the not the last but one of the ones coming to the last here at, here at Mondo Farms we farm vegetables uh, we do cabbages cauliflower broccoli lettuce carrots um, peppers cucumbers melons and onions look at that onions all around me onions the Mondo Farms channel is a place where we try and educate we try and inform as we share our farming journey um, all the things that we do here on the farm how we grow the crops how we look after the crops and try and give you as much information as you can I, I learned a lot from YouTube when I started out farming uh, over the last uh, year and year and a bit and I feel it's only right to share as much as I can I don't know it all um, but we're learning and we will tell you what we do right what we do wrong your part is just keep watching as much as you can uh, hopefully you enjoy our thing and you learn what you can from them so you gotta if you can like and subscribe to our channel and come back as often as you can to see um, what we're doing and what's happening on this authentic uh, Zambian farming channel tell a friend tell a cousin tell your former classmate about Mondo Farms channel on YouTube we'll see you soon take care bye Riverside do one. Peter with the onion.